Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, I'm Nick Arg here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you straight up how you can get better at Fortnite in 2020. So starting off the video, I want to let you guys know that 2020 is going to be the year that you can get better at Fortnite just by watching this video. If you practice what I'm going to tell you at least every day for at least a week or two weeks or maybe three weeks, you're going to get better at Fortnite, I guarantee to you. If you are coming for just a certain part such as building, editing, tracking, whatever, I'm going to link timestamps down below in the description to which part of the video you want to go to. But with that said, drop a like on this video if you guys do enjoy it and you found this helpful and let's get right into it. So the first and most important thing I want to go over is going to be your mindset. You have to mentally and physically want to get better. You can practice all you want, but if you don't mentally want to get better, you are not going to. For instance, seasons one through nine for me, I wanted to get better, but I mentally wasn't ready and I didn't want to get better. That's why if you go into any one of my streams that I did when I had like 1,000, 2,000 subscribers, you would see I was a total trash can. And throughout this season and maybe part of last season, I really wanted to get better and because of that, I ended up doing better. I'm still not the best player, but I'm much better than how I was back then. So getting this mindset can be a little bit tricky, but simply you want to find a purpose to get better. For me, I wanted to get better to improve my content and the gameplay behind it. If you want to get better to impress your friends, say that every time you get on. If you want to get better to impress a team that you're grinding for, just get on and say that every single day. But if you're just trying to get better to get better, find a different purpose. It can be a family member, anything like that. So with this next tip, I'm not going to focus too much on this because everybody is different, but simply finding friend groups and friends that you can play with on this game is very good for you. I personally and a lot of my friends, we play a lot better when we're playing with each other versus playing in solos. Simply by we get to interact with each other, we're laughing, having fun. So if you can find people that you can play with and vibe with in game, you're going to perform 10 times better, I guarantee it. But if you like playing by yourself, then totally disregard this tip. So aiming is by far the most important thing in Fortnite. You can build all you want, you can edit all you want, but if you can't hit your shots, you are not going to be better at this game whatsoever. I made sure with this tip I'm going to give you, it's for keyboard and mouse players as well as controller players. I'm going to put the map code on screen right now. This creative map is legit the only map you're ever going to need to train your aim, period. So within this map alone, it's very friendly for keyboard and mouse players as well as controller players, simply from the fact it has tile frenzies for keyboard and mouse, tracking, flick shots, and also jump shots where you can actually jump and then shoot the enemy underneath. It has that, those are extremely helpful. And also it has in-game situations where you can build up and shoot somebody, crank to 90s, shoot somebody. Amazing tips. If you want to improve your aim, do at least one of these every single day for like two weeks and watch how good your aim is. I guarantee. So with building, I feel like it's very intimidating, confusing, and even controversial because you see all these people like Faye Sway doing all these insane builds and creative, editing, doing all these insane things, but does he do that in an actual game in Battle Royale? No, he does not. So with that said, you have to ask yourself, do you want to be a Battle Royale player or a creative player? Whichever one you choose, you have to learn high ground retakes, you have to learn how to build, you have to do everything like that. I'm going to link a video down below in the description showing you guys the top 5 high ground retakes, a video by It's Jaren, a great creator. He's the one who actually got me better at the game by watching his videos. By the way, thanks man, but if you want to learn how to build, you have to keep building and I promise you guys it is going to get better and a lot easier as you just keep playing the game and build. Building. So with editing, there's two major things you can do to get better. The first thing and the most thing that people do is find a bunch of editing courses. Even if you guys want to use the one I gave you earlier about the aiming, that actually has an edit course on it as well. And it is super, super nice. The second thing people do, if the, those edit courses aren't working out from them or you're still not seeing any results, change what you edit with on your controller or your keyboard. Personally, I change mine to my right on my D-pad on a PlayStation controller. And it honestly helps me a lot. That's one of the best decisions that ever made in my life for Fortnite, and that could be for you guys as well so if you're not seeing any results just change it and get used to it at first it was super super hard for me but eventually you will get used to it so with that said that's how you can get better at Fortnite within 2020 if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like on it comment the words 2020 if you made this far into the video i would really appreciate it subscribe if you are new you will not be disappointed by subscribing i would love to have you on this channel as well and i'll see you guys tomorrow i cannot wait peace out